Hi, I'm Luca Derio, and today I want to show you how photometric lights are supposed to work inside Unreal Engine. I have version 4.8.3 and I already created one scene where I imported light. Now, this is the scene where I'm working on. Uh, you must consider that Unreal Engine and Unreal Technology is um, developed for real-time rendering, so the result is um, uh, different from what you may obtain from software rendered images. Um, also, the workflow is very different from um, pre-computed images and the purpose of the software. Let's say that uh, Unreal Engine um, was born to develop video games where it's necessary to render in real time, so with a very high frame rate, uh, what is happening inside our scene. So we have a player moving, we have light uh, changing color, turning on, turning off, and so on. While in software like V-Ray, Maxwell Render, Corona Render, we have another approach. The main goal is to obtain a static image or an animation that can be composed by a sequence of multiple state static images. So this is the scene and it's how I constructed. So I have one light emitter from the left and one light emitter from the right. In reality, I imported two panels and I wanted to use them to emit light um, and then bake this light inside my static uh, mesh, this uh, room. But it was, um, um, well, it was not satisfying the result. So I decided to apply this to um, light left and light right. The main concept is related with this spotlight. So the spotlight is a directional light. Well, actually it's a spot, I know the difference. Um, but this is a, a light that starts from one point and is casted in one direction. And uh, here is movable. And in the various option, I have this uh, IS texture. So the IS texture is an external file that we can uh, download from internet or we can generate with uh, proper uh, softwares and is a file that contains light model um, on how the energy should behave inside the scene. Inside the Unreal Engine we have this uh, viewer. Now the file is imported with this resolution of 256 per 1 while in reality it should be squared. The main, uh, the most important point is this, so the light brightness in lumen. So this brightness is the intensity of the imported IS file that then is uh, transferred to the light emitter, this uh, spotlight in my scene, through the IS file, so through this light profile. Remember when you decide to use this light to activate the light intensity, Otherwise, you are going to use uh, other parameter, the built-in parameter inside um, Unreal Engine. While uh, if I'm using use IS uh, intensity, I'm uh, obtaining this information from the external file. So I'm using this 10,000 lumen that I just showed you. We can define a color, we can define the position and many other stuff. So I created also another example, uh, IS Spotlight. Let me check where it is. I'm going to move this light here so you can see. Uh, let me check also in the front at which position. Okay, let's suppose this can be our position. So in the perspective, um, now I would like you to watch this light and the shape that this light is obtaining when it's close to the wall. So a spotlight can be, uh, you know, a spot emitter that is emitting light with a certain uh, cone. So we have a cone angle, we have an intensity and uh, I told you before to use this one. So we have an intensity and uh, the IS light, you see, has a different shape. Has uh, a shape that should be um, obtained when the emitted light is bouncing inside the, the reflector, inside the, the fixture. I'm just changing the color, but I want to make it more noticeable and I don't want to confuse you with the orangish color of the other IS light. So you see, when I'm getting close to the wall, the light is 
changing the shape. This because the light has different decay among the various angles that compose this light shape. And uh, you can obtain this light, I told you, downloading them from internet, or you can generate them using a specific software. In my workflow, I'm using RealIS, that is a nice software where I have different sliders capable to define the intensity of the light among the various angles that I told you before. So I can have uh, wide angle lights, like this one, and I can save it. He's exporting on my desktop, this uh, can be the wide. Then I can create a uh, narrow one and I can have something in between and I have a, the advanced mode where I can define the flux so you remember before I told you about the lumen amount uh, it was uh, 10,000 here I'm using 1,000 so uh, let's use uh, I don't know something in between 5,000 uh, lumen 150 watt here this number is used to calculate the amount of flux, so the amount of uh, um, real light that arrives uh, after a certain distance. So let's suppose, um, well, I don't know, 250 centimeters or so two meters and half. Well, after two meters and half, a light emitter of 5,000 lumen at zero degrees, using this slider, can emit 4,200 lux that are actually 26 thousand candles. So with this software I can define the intensity using candle, watt, lux, lumen, centimeter, and I can have some information. I can save the, this last is and I close my software. So this is the, uh, I don't know, balance. I want to show you also the preview that are exported with this software. I just need a new folder because I want the file icon to be bigger. And you see how the balance is the cone how the cone is in the narrow and how the cone is in the white. Well, this is Windows displaying me the various icons. Now, moving to Unreal, I can import my content. So they are on the desktop. And Unreal automatically recognizes them as IS file and they got imported as proper assets, so they are not imported as texture, you know. And uh, let's see in this example IS. I can turn off the other light, but for sure I can decrease the, the amount of light emitted. So let me just do this transformation. And example IS. So here I can drag and drop my narrow angle. Oh, wait, sorry. I can drag and drop the narrow angle here. And this is the result of my narrow IS. Let me change the color with something more suitable. So can have an orangish light, something like 5,000 Kelvin degrees. And here you can see how the shape is changing. If you don't like the narrow angle, that should have here 1,000 lumen. You see, they got imported from real IS. Um, I can use the white. The white light, of course, is really wide. You see, it's just that white angle. I don't remember how much it was—70 or 80 degrees. I created the balanced. It should be more intense than the other. Remember, we were working with 5,000 uh, um, lumens. And this is my example. Ah, yes, I can duplicate it to make the scene more balanced. And 
and here is the scene composed with the two IS lights. So I understand that my composition here is not so appealing, but using Unreal Engine you can create amazing works and amazing real-time works that they can be used also with um, um, with other softwares as well. So you can use them with um, uh, sorry with other hardware like Oculus Rift. Your result can be exported for um, uh, mobile devices, and you can create really a huge amount of uh, work for different necessities. Now I wanted to show you, um, I'm not going to save this one, and he want to download my, well actually I don't know what he's downloading. He asked me to download it, to download something, I press yes, but I wanted to show you some example of other works that can be created with uh, Unreal Engine. So let's wait a couple of seconds. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the, the time we had to wait. Um, you can find in the marketplace a lot of um, interesting scene that can be downloaded and some object that you can download. There are also some uh, uh, IES uh, pack that can be bought. Uh, actually, you, f you can find photometric file for free online, as well as you can buy them here inside the Unreal Engine uh, Marketplace, or you can use Real IS to create them. I have to mention that Real IS is not for free. You can download it from uh, www.realis.com. I want to tell you so uh, you don't have surprise. Uh, you can download it for PC, for Mac. Here is uh, yeah, the price is not for free, um, but it's very useful. And also it gives you this uh, technical uh, information. So it's not just for rendering. It can also be used for other purposes. And here inside the marketplace on Unreal Tournament, there are, as I told you, Unreal is mostly used for video games. But here I show you some images of what can be created with this amazing render engine. I understand that they are related with games and so maybe this sci-fi scene are not so so appealing for architecture but I'm not showing you for this specific architecture I'm showing you for the quality thank you for watching